Africa to start next year, this year to set the stone, and next year to give also some policy direction on how we will work, some pilot, some guide for that. As I said, these are the funds, these are the national legislation. I explained at the end 90% of what is public is financed with public funds, so uh, there is a mandate to be open. The principles, um, there is a model, Latin America is a model of open access, a long-standing model, started with the journal, it's a non-commercial model, we believe that we must maintain that, must sustain that, and uh, as everyone, uh, we should coordinate to avoid repeating of record and uh, our economic crisis that the last year has been quite long. Conclusion, there are economies of scale, scale rise goal. We still need to keep focus on regional capacities. We have, that's our priority. Uh, we are a global actor, cannot be in every part of the chain, but we want to be part of that. And um, we are not dealing with uh, only technical platforms. We don't have a network of people in each country working for free uh, with us. Voluntary rates in governments, in universities, we could not achieve what we have achieved. And the idea is to develop public goods, the old sense of public goods for the region. Uh, I think that it took like 15 minutes, thanks a lot. I'm done, right? Right. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, so we'll take the questions at the end, maybe, okay, Alberto? Thank you very much. And I think every time I see presentations about Latin America, I'm so impressed in terms of the policy situation there and how far ahead you are in terms of um, adoption of open access policies. And also the fact that you're collaborating across all, all of your countries is very, very impressive. So thanks again, Alberto. Um, who's up next?